Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi and uh, today uh, we are going to start on the topic of classification. And this is a topic that is taught at Form 1 level and is therefore referred to as classification 1. Now, first of all, uh, as we start this uh, topic, it is important to go through the objectives of the chapter, and that is what uh, every student is expected to know or to understand by the end of this particular topic. The chapter objectives, uh, the first uh, objective is to be able to determine magnification using a hand lens, also known as a magnifying lens. So that is the first objective. Objective number two, the, sh the student should be able to record observations, observations made from external structures of living organisms. So a student should be able to make observations uh, from uh, uh, external structure of living organisms and uh, putting those observations into record. Number three, uh, the student should be able to understand the necessity and significance of classification. So on this, it is uh, important to understand why is classification important? Why do we need to place living organisms into groups? Why do we need to classify them? That's basically what that objective is all about. Number four is to be able to describe uh, the units of taxonomy. What is called the taxonomic units. And uh, lastly, number five a student should be able to describe the application of binomial nomenclature in assigning scientific names. So basically those are the objectives that a student should understand uh, by the end of uh, that uh, chapter. So the first one is to be able to determine uh, magnification or how to calculate magnification using a hand lens. Uh, the student should be able to record observations made by looking at external structure of living organisms. Uh, should you be also be able to understand the necessity and significance of classification. That's basically asking ourselves why is classification important? And then uh, number four, to be able to describe the units of taxonomy 
what you call the taxonomic units, and then finally to describe the application of binomial nomenclature. So first of all, I would want us to have uh, a short introduction about what classification is all about. And uh, we can say that uh, classification is about uh, grouping of living organisms uh, based on similarities and differences in their characteristics. So, is the grouping of living organisms based on similarities and differences in characteristics. So basically that means that uh, for those organisms that have or that share many similarities, they are classified together. Those ones that have different characteristics, those ones are grouped separately. So in this case, we are grouping according to um, <coughs> our similarities based on similarities and differences in characteristics. Uh, after that, uh, there's one tool that is very, very important in classification, and this is what we call a magnifying lens or a hand lens. So you're going to have a diagram of it. So that uh, hand lens has a handle it has a frame and there is a convex lens. So that is basically how a hand lens look like. So there is a handle where one holds, then there is a frame that supports the convex lens, and this lens is the one that is used for magnification. So the convex lens is the one that we use uh, for magnification. So we can say that uh, a hand lens is used to enlarge objects to enlarge objects uh, using the lens. Uh, to calculate the magnification Uh, the following formula is used. So we say that uh, magnification is equals to the drawing length, the length of the drawing that you have observed over the actual length 
over the actual length. That is the formula that we use to calculate uh, the magnification. So the drawing length over the actual length. On this, if you are told to calculate the actual length, you just make it the subject and the actual length uh, will be uh, the drawing length divided by magnification. So that's how the magnification is calculated using the first formula. And from the first formula, you can also derived, derive the actual length, which will be uh, the drawing length divided by magnification. So we'll have some example on how to apply that formula. So the example can be told that uh, a student drew a diagram of an insect measuring eight centimeters in length. Calculate the magnification if the insect was two centimeters in length. So we just apply the formula and say that uh, magnification will be given by the length of the drawing, which was eight centimeters over the length of the actual, which was two centimeters. And when you do that, you get four. That means magnification is times four or four times. So magnification does not have any units, uh, but instead you put a times sign in front to show that this is the number of times that particular object was magnified. So you're going to have a, an assignment So the first question, what is classification? The second question, name one instrument used for magnifying specimens. And number three, given that the magnification of a hand lens is five times, determine the actual length of a drawing, which is 15 centimeters long. So we'll stop there for today and we'll continue from there next time. Goodbye.